peace process and constitution writing by this book of the indispensability of a Maoist-led national unity government. But they also took the forum to unveil a book written by Maoist central member Ganga Sresta. Constituent Assembly Chairman Suvash Chandra Nemoang says he will continue urging the parties for consensus until the peace and constitutional writing process succeeds. Nemoang said the culture of obstructing parliament must come to an end. He was speaking at the first annual General Assembly of Asia Journalist Association, Aza Nepal chapter in the capital. Chairman of the Constitutional Committee, Nilambar Acharya, Nepali Congress, Lomika Gagan Tapa, and President of Federation of Nepali Journalists, Tarendra Jha, spoke on press freedom and professional journalism. The talks between Trivuvan University officials and the hesitating student unions had collapsed. Students' unions are protesting the fee hike announced by TU, saying the university cannot sustain with the existing fee structure. Student unions have given a 24-hour ultimatum to revoke the decision. TU Academic Council hiked the tuition fees in an average by up to 12 times after 18 years. Student unions have warned of severe protest if the decision was not revoked within the deadline. We will be back within minutes with international updates. Do stay with us. Thank you for staying with us. You are still with NTV News. Amid intense international pressure for reforms, Afghan President Hamid Karzai vowed to tackle corruption and drug trafficking in a speech delivered at his inaugural ceremony Thursday. Karzai was sworn in for a second term following a fraud marred election that questioned his legitimacy. Karzai took the oath of office in front of 800 guests, including 300 foreign dignitaries featuring Pakistan's President Asif Ali Jardari and the U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Meanwhile, 10 civilians were killed when a suicide attacker targeted a police vehicle in southern Afghanistan. U.S. President Barack Obama wrapped up an eight-day tour of Asia holding talks with South Korean President Lee Moong Bak and speaking to American troops at Osan Air Base. Nuclear negotiation involving North Korea and Iran highlighted a news conference held by the leaders. Obama announced that he will soon send American envoy to North Korea for bilateral talks on dismantling Pyongyang's nuclear program. Obligations which is grounded. Bangladesh's apex court upheld the death penalties of all five of the convicts condemned for the 1975 killing of the country's founder, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, rejecting their final appeals. All the 12 ex-army officers who were earlier handed down capital punishment would have to walk to the gallows. Rahman was assassinated along with most of his family members on 15th of August 1975 in a pre-dawn attack that had also toppled the country's first government. After these international updates, time now to check the business update. Association with... Yes. A tripartite agreement between the Ministry of Energy, Nepal Electricity Authority and Japanese aid agency JICA was signed Thursday to develop the hydropower sector in Nepal. As per the agreement, JICA will assist Nepal to explore such hydropower project sites. Possible sites will be identified within the next 15 months as per the agreement. Even Mr. Direction Nepal has put up wedding and gift expo at United World Trade Center in Kathmandu. The expo features more than 50 stalls with a wide range of wedding related items, even a marriage brokering bureau under one roof. There is also the presence of a honeymoon package selling travel agency in the expo. Organizers say the expo promises to cater to the growing needs of the people and demand for a comprehensive solution to wedding ceremonies. This news in association with... Just. Well, the wedding season is definitely on. On to the sports update now. In association with Sports News Worldwide. Why is it so? Arukunesha.
Prime Minister Madhav Kumar Nepal assured that the government will assist Saag Silva Madlis, Manju Tuladar, who needs a kidney transplant. Tuladar, along with the players' team, led by National and International Players Association, met Prime Minister Nepal today. Nepal also suggested to form the Players' Welfare Fund as players are the assets of a country. Earlier, the government had provided 5 lakh rupees to volleyball's international player, Dinesh Banya, who had the same kidney problem. Kumar Adhikari and Jitendra Padiyar made to the final of the second APF Open Lawn Tennis Championship. Jitendra beat Sriram Magar 6-0 and 6-3, while Kumar as out Ramesh Karki 6-1 and 6-1 to reach the final. In above 45 veterans, Kamal Thapa reached the final, while a pair of Sanu Lama and Monaz Rana booked their place in the final of veterans doubles. Gokarna Forest Golf Resort is organizing Signature Club Golf Championship in Gokarna on Saturday. The winner club can take part in the club championship to be held in India. It is the first time that the championship is taking place in Nepal according to T20 rule. Well, that was much needed assurance from the Prime Minister to help Maju to Ladhar. On to weather now. Forecasting division says the weather is likely to remain mainly fair throughout the country tonight and tomorrow. With this, we come to the end of this edition. We will wrap up with a quick look at the top stories. Three-party task force fails to find a suitable terminology to address the president's move. Anmin draws the Prime Minister's attention over the delay in the peace process. Newly sworn Afghan President Karzai pledges to fight corruption. And US President Barack Obama wraps up his eight-day tour of Asia. That's all we have this moment. Until next time, from all of us here at the English News Desk, goodbye and 